Okay. This is a quick... I'm going to do a short stream on uh, Wild Arms. I was doing this offline, but then it had a lot of... It's got a lot of story. So, anyway, I want to get a stream captured. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, right now, obviously, Emma can't, couldn't do crap for, for Rudy. So, we got a warp. Over to Rosetta Town and see if the Elu girl, the Elu girl, can do anything for us. As we'll see, she can't immediately, but perhaps she can point us in the right direction. Oh, dude, move out of my way, you hyperactive little child. Some of these characters, some of the NPCs are like hyperactive. They just don't stop. They just keep moving in random directions. Wish you could bomb them and move out of your way. What? How? Tell him what's happening. Jack and Celia tell Mario everything up to this point in their adventure. Use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is a benefit of the life within metal, the body that you possess. Life within metal? How would you know that? Ariel. It is a thousand year old sin. The metal that has consciousness. It's a special metal. As you know, the demons have machines for their bodies. The Elus and humans dared to step in their realm and play gods. If this was a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs. But to replace a lost arm. And where, Phil Gaia, can you recreate life within metal again? So they did a... It seems that they created the demons. The humans and the Elus. And I guess... I don't know if the demons rebelled. I'm not sure. It sounds like they made robots. And the robots eventually got consciousness. Like, um... Yeah, like you see in Terminator Judgment Day. And they took over. Or a thousand years ago, maybe then, Dine's arm could have been a thousand years ago. Poor guy, how can you? Let's go to the temple in the forest mound. Deep in that forest that you lose, we left a gift. So, we gotta go back to forest mound if you might remember you went, went there once. It's the thing is, we still don't really have a great idea who the Elus are. They seem to be a race. There's humans, there's Elus, there's demons, of course we know. There's a great battle, but it seems now that the demons were actually created by the humans and the Elus. There we go to Forest Mound. All right, go around, go to the back. Where there's a small altar. Continue the story. Elus left Phil Gaia after the war with the demons. That's why there's no head end. We Elus normally live in the forest. After the war, the land was no longer suitable for us. Why? We don't know. So we created this realm called the Elu Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this land to another dimension. We closed the gates, and this became our new home. There you can still see Phil Gaia of a thousand years ago. So there is a way to go. They basically created a separate land, it was like a snapshot of Phil Gaia from a thousand years ago, and then sealed it in another dimension. It's like, basically, like a poor parallel plane. But it was, but it still preserves the, it doesn't advance any farther than a thousand years ago version of Phil Gaia. And this is the gate that connects, so this is the gate here, it connects the Ulu world to Phil Gaia. We couldn't budge this thing, even with a cannon. Maybe the gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity. I'm not. This gate operates on the Elu's heart and life energy. Oh shit! Did she just cut herself? Elu's live by bonds. We bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land to enjoy nature. We will gladly give up everything to bond with those we believe we believe in. I saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay it. 
Oh shit, she did cut herself. Please don't leave the mound. That's in can. Oh damn. So now we're back in the dimensions of a repl replica of Phil Gaia 1,000 years ago. That's why it's not, not as dark, it's more colorful. Hey, Mario, Mario, she's beating, bleeding badly. We need to treat her now. Oh, shit. She tried to leave there, you. Okay, so we... Much, much, much more forest growth. Oh. The humans have activated the gate, and they are here. Him to ask for your help. We lose want nothing to do with you foolish humans. Please leave. We have people wounded here. Only you can help cure them. There's the evil girl. Please, let us in. She is the child of a criminal. No reason for us to help her. Go, go back to your dying world. Wait, you cannot risk exposing the gate to other humans. We'll take you to the village, Master Fulcanelli, inside your fate. Oh, shit! Take him to the house of Emiko and he'll tell you about the Demon War and the Home Cross Project. Okay, please help. So there. Oh, man, wait, 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 what is Rudy doing? What the hell did you do? He's having like a seizure. He was. All of the outsiders from the dying world. I'm the elder here. I want to use our powers to fix this young man's left arm. He's an important part of the team. Trying to save the world. The battle of the demons has begun again. Do you trust us, the ones who are more like demons than humans? We have to. The whole world needs him. A thousand years ago, we created this machine to come with the demons. The golems are the absolute power. Power without heart can be good or evil. You lose in the human. You lose in the human mage. Oh no, I can't move. I came up with a new technology. Basis technology. Demons we've captured. Use living metals. Oh, okay, so wait, the demons w had already existed. Right, that makes sense. But they captured demons and learned how to make the living metal, I guess is what they're saying. And that's how they created the golems in Physio. Artificial biometal was created. It was called the Home Cross Project. Artificial life that can survive any, under any conditions. It's the ultimate enhancement to many different kinds of arms. Synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the second power of the arm. With the Home Cross enjoyed killing so much, it literally became a killing machine. The one of the demons, or was it man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure. The deployed home cross were destroyed. Oh, so he was part of this home cross. All right, so this wasn't. This is aside from the golems. One home cross experimental model was sealed deep underground. Not a killing machine. The time he spent as a human gave him a pure heart. Is that what you're saying? To travel with the old man called Zeppet. It was a kind heart, and it was he who kept dying from turning into a weapon. He kept dying. Tell me, after a thousand years, this man unleashed the experimental machine. But it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. Those powers were lost to us long ago. Been dying. Nothing we can. Oh, that's great. The Guardian Blade. Okay, we heard that this was a great weapon used in that war. Let's rest. It has a life of its own. It use the Guardian Blade on Donnie. What were you saying? It went out of control and disappeared. But not before it took half of Fogaya with it. What?
Oh, so Mariel's Vast and his brother. He uses the Guardian Blade. It destroyed half the... <laughs> well, it was too powerful, I guess. Being exposed to us. One that can possibly repair the armor. If not, it will destroy us all. Please take me with you. I want to share some. Go want us to make the Guardian Blade. It's going to take a miracle. We have lost much of our technology. That evil sword. You do it yourself. All right. I just wanted to get that. We have, yeah, we have a few things to do here. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save here. We'll, we'll pick it up later on. Maybe this afternoon. We'll see what happens. Let's use this one. And I will see you later.